Welcome everyone, I'm Anna. It's time for another video, another grammar video. Today we'll talk about the usage of the word would, about all the ways to use the word would. Stay tuned, it's gonna be fun. What is the past tense form of will? and is widely used in different contexts by every native speaker literally every single day. That's why its usage might be a bit confusing. Usually the structure of the sentence with would is subject plus would plus bare infinitive, but you'll see how it might change in the following examples. To talk about the first way of using it, I'd like to start with example sentences. When I was in school, I would always do my homework first thing after school so that I was free for the rest of the day. He would come back home from work, change into comfy clothes, and he would take his dog for a long walk. I oftentimes get questions about this would in such sentences. We can use would to talk about the past, more specifically habits in the past, our typical behavior, things that we often did, like in these examples. I would always do my homework first thing after school. This would repeat day after day. And the same goes for the second example. An important note, would, might be, and is very often reduced to a D just as had. We put an apostrophe and a D after a subject. I would becomes I'd. We can use would when we're expecting something to happen or assuming something. For instance, you hear the doorbell and you're expecting your friend to come over. And if there's someone else with you or you're talking to yourself out loud, you could say, that would be Mike, I'll answer it. You think it is Mike by the door because you've been waiting for him to stop by because he told you so or you've made an arrangement. We can use would when we're unsure. They would seem to be getting along. Means that I thought so based on what I saw, but I wasn't sure. So we can use such phrases as would seem to be, would appear to be, it would appear that, it would look as though in the same way when we're unsure. Another very common usage of would, well, all of them are very common, is with the word wish to express a desire, opinion, or hope. I really wish you would call before stopping by. Wish plus would is usually used to talk about other people and we want them to change their behavior because we don't like what they are or aren't doing. In other words, to express our impatience, annoyance, and dissatisfaction with the present action. This combination is not usually used to talk about ourselves or about something that nobody can change. However, we can use it to talk about the weather. The formulas might be as such. Wish plus would plus bear infinitive and wish plus that plus would plus bare infinitive. I wish that you would listen to your parents. I wish that would change. That means a situation that involves other people that we don't like. We wish that situation would change in this example. I wish that would happen. I wish you would stand up for yourself. I wish he would stop yelling. I wish you wouldn't be so rude. I wish you wouldn't talk to me that way. I'm using you, but it might be he, she, or they, or someone's name or status. We can use would as a past tense of will or going to, to talk about the future in the past. In other words, it can be used to describe our past beliefs about the future. So let's try to see the difference. In the present, I think, this bus will take me to the center. I think this bus will take me to the center. As opposed to in the past, I would say, I thought this bus would take me to the center. I thought this bus would take me to the center. I thought it would be a lot warmer today. When I met you, I didn't think you were the man I would one day marry. So you see, we're speaking about our past beliefs about the future. When I met you, I didn't think you were the man I would one day marry. We can include in this category the usage of would as the past of will in reported speech. Direct speech, I'll pick you up at 7 p.m. Reported speech, 
She said she would pick me up at 7 p.m. We can use would to talk about willingness in the past. To be willing to do something means that you are happy to do something, that you're offering your help or services because you want to. And in the present, we use will to express it. But in the past, we use would. And it's pretty much the same as reported speech in the previous example. But even more so, it's used to talk about refusals in the past. And we would use would not. He just ran all over the place and wouldn't let me finish my work. Her husband wouldn't let her drive his car. We use would for polite requests and questions. Would you hold this please is the same as will you hold this please, but is a more polite way of asking for help or something else. We also use would in conditional sentences, specifically in the second and third conditional for hypothetical and imaginary situations. The structure of the second conditional is if plus past simple would plus an infinitive. And we use it for imaginary, impossible, or unlikely present or future situations. If I knew the answer, I wouldn't ask you. He would buy your lies if they sounded plausible. So as you can see, we can change places of the if and would parts of the structure, or we can drop the if part completely if everyone understands and knows what we're talking about. It would be exciting to see New York during the winter holidays, if we could go there or if we had the money to go there. I would if I could is oftentimes used as a phrase which means I would do something if it were possible for me to do, but it isn't, or I think it isn't. We can use this structure to give advice. You must have heard this sentence. I wouldn't do that if I were you. This means that you are attempting to advise someone not to do something. If I were in your position, I would feel exactly the same way, but I wouldn't let my feelings dictate my actions. The structure of the third conditional is if plus past perfect would plus have plus past participle. We use it to talk about a situation and the past that didn't happen and to imagine the result of the situation. It can be used when we regret doing something or when we're telling someone off. She would have been the best teacher if she had gotten the job. If you had listened to me, you wouldn't have had debt. I think your father would have wanted you to have this. And finally, we use would with set phrases to talk about what we want. The phrases would prefer and would rather are used to speak about a specific preference and in this case are interchangeable. I'd rather take a taxi or I'd prefer to take a taxi instead of a bus ride, for example. You can add the second part instead of a bus ride or you can drop it if a person knows what you're talking about because you were previously discussing this. There is more to these phrases, but we'll leave this for another video. Would you mind is a set phrase that we use for polite requests. Would you mind holding the door, please? And we use would you like for offers and invitations. Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like to come in? I would like and I would love, we used to speak of our desires, things that we want and our inclinations. Remember I said to talk about the first way of using it, I'd like to start with example sentences. I'd like to start with means I want to start with. I would like to dedicate the speech to my family. I'd like to say a few important things. I'd like to move on to the next point. I'd love to go there someday. I'd love to hear what you have to say. I would imagine, I would guess, and I would think we used to give an opinion when we're not sure or when we want to be polite. Although he says it's not exactly his path, I would imagine him in the tech industry. I think that since you're learning English, this lesson might be interesting to you. I'd guess that people who watch educational videos about English know this topic already. Okay guys, I think that's enough for this video. I know that for some of you, such lessons might seem boring, but nonetheless, it is useful information and I hope that you found it useful. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you aren't yet, and I really hope to see you in the next one.